हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर फाइव ऑन रिकरेंस रिलेशंस अप टू दिस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू सॉल्व रिकरेंस रिलेशंस ऑफ डिग्री टू एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू जनरलाइज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सॉल्यूशन ऑफ रिकरेंस रिलेशन फ्रॉम रिकरेंस रिलेशन ऑफ डिग्री टू टू एनी रिकरेंस रिलेशन ऑफ से डिग्री के सो इफ वी हैव रिकरेंस रिलेशन ऑफ डिग्री ग्रेटर देन टू then also method of solving the recurrence relation is same uh, we have to simply generalize that method from second degree recurrence relation to recurrence relation of degree greater than 2 so we are considering recurrence relation which is linear and homogeneous and which is constant coefficients and degree is k so this is the linear homogeneous recurrence relation of degree k with constant coefficient here ck is non zero therefore degree of this recurrence relation is k so first we have to replace an by r raised to n and uh, we will write down the characteristic equation corresponding to this recurrence relation so we will replace an by r raised to n an minus 1 by r raised to n minus 1 and so on a n minus k by r raised to n minus k and then by dividing with lowest degree term in r we will obtain the characteristic equation which is a polynomial of degree k in variable r this is the characteristic equation corresponding to this recurrence relation of degree k r raised to k minus c1 times r raised to k minus 1 and so on minus ck equal to 0 now this is polynomial equation in variable r of degree k therefore it has k solutions or k roots suppose k roots of this characteristic equation are denoted by r1 r2 r3 and so on up to rk then depending upon the nature of this k roots we have different formulas for the nth term of sequence an which is a solution of given recurrence relation so first possibility is all the roots are real and different that is all these r1 r2 rk are real numbers and they are not repeated so in this case the formula for an is same as we have discussed in the case of second order recurrence relation it was alpha 1 into r1 raised to n plus alpha 2 into r2 raised to n if we have second degree recurrence relation now here we have r1 r2 up to rk we have k roots of the characteristic equation so we will extend this up to r to the rk to the power n so next term is alpha 3 times r3 raised to n then alpha 4 times r4 raised to n and so on the term corresponding to rk is alpha k times rk raised to n and n takes the values 0 1 2 and so on so this is simple generalization of second order recurrence relation to the recurrence relation of degree k so here i have written that if roots are real and different then the general solution is given by an equal to alpha 1 times r1 raised to n alpha 2 times r2 raised to n and so on plus alpha k times rk raised to n here alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha k are arbitrary constants therefore this is the general solution now second possibility is sum of the values of this r1 r2 up to rk might be repeated so how to write down the solution if some values are repeated so that is also generalization from second degree to any degree if uh, i have second degree recurrence relation and if i have two roots of the characteristic equation which are equal then if you recall in previous lecture Uh, we have seen that general solution is given by alpha 1 times r1 raised to n plus alpha 2 times r2 and r1 are equal so we write r2 equal to r1 raised to n 
and because these two functions are not independent we multiply by n to make them independent so this we will generalize for three equal roots also suppose we have three equal roots then a n will be alpha 1 times r1 raised to n then alpha 2 times r1 raised to n and alpha 3 times r1 raised to n and all these functions are not independent so to make them independent here we multiply by n and here we multiply by n square or this we can rewrite as alpha 1 plus alpha 2 into n plus alpha 3 into n square and we can take r1 raised to n common so if we have three repeated roots then we have to multiply up to second power of n or with r1 raised to n we have a polynomial of second degree so method is similar to the method of solving second degree recurrence relations so here i have written different possibilities all roots are equal and some are repeated all roots are real and some are repeated if r1 and r2 are equal and remaining are distinct then in this case the general solution is a n equal to alpha 1 times r1 raised to n plus alpha 2 times r1 raised to n because r1 and r2 are equal and because uh, these two are not independent here we multiply by n and remaining roots are real and distinct so for r3 we write alpha 3 times r3 raised to n and for r4 we write alpha 4 times r4 raised to n and for rk we write alpha k times rk raised to n similarly if three roots are repeated and remaining are distinct then in that case the solution of recurrence relation of degree k is alpha 1 times r1 raised to n alpha 2 times r1 raised to n alpha 3 times r1 raised to n r2 is written as r1 r2 and r1 are equal so we replace r2 by r1 similarly r3 and r1 are equal so we replace r3 by r1 and here we multiply by n and here we multiply by n square and remaining roots are distinct so alpha 4 times r4 raised to n and so on alpha k times r k raised to n and n takes the values 0 1 2 up to so on so you can see in this way it is uh, very easy to write down the general solution for uh, recurrence relation of degree k also suppose all the roots are repeated then in that case general solution is alpha 1 times r1 raised to n plus alpha 2 times n into r1 raised to n because r2 and r1 are equal plus alpha 3 times n square into r1 raised to n and so on alpha k times r1 raised to n into n to the power k minus 1 you can see the pattern here if i have alpha 2 here then power of n is 1 that is 2 minus 1 if i have 3 here then this is n square that is 3 minus 1 so if i have k here i will take k minus 1 power of n so this is the general solution in the case of all roots are repeated and real so we consider some examples here we are given the roots of the characteristic equation of some linear homogeneous recurrence relation and we have to just write down the form of general solution corresponding to given values of roots of characteristic equation so first one is r equal to 2 3 4 7 and all these are real and distinct therefore the general solution corresponding to these values of r is alpha 1 into first value of r to the power n plus alpha 2 second value of r is 3 plus alpha 3 4 to the power n and plus alpha 4 
7 to the power n and the values of n are 0, 1, 2 and so on. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and uh, 6 uh, values of r. There are 6 roots and uh, 3 is repeated 3 times. So corresponding to 3 we have alpha 1 times 3 raised to n plus alpha 2 times 3 raised to n is multiplied with n plus alpha 3 times 3 raised to n is multiplied with n square. Now corresponding to this double root 5, we have alpha 4 times 5 raised to n plus alpha 5 times n into 5 raised to n and this is distinct root so it is alpha 6 times 7 raised to n. Here I have 4, 4 values of r all are repeated. Therefore, a n is given by alpha 1 times minus 2 raised to n plus alpha 2 into n times minus 2 raised to n plus alpha 3 into n square times minus 2 raised to n and plus alpha 4 into n cubes times minus 2 raised to n. And if you wish, we can rewrite in this way also alpha 1 plus alpha 2 times n plus alpha 3 times n square plus alpha 4 times n cube and multiplied with minus 2 to the power n. So in this way we can easily write down the general solution corresponding to roots of characteristic equation of given linear homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficients. So we will continue with the solution of linear homogeneous recurrence relations with constant coefficients of any degree in upcoming lectures. Thanks for watching.